This is how you create a global sound effect or music in your game. So the first thing we're going to have is we have a music <clears throat> that is just town.mp3. You can have any other sort of file, but I'm using mp3. And if I play it, you should be able to hear it, and it's really loud. So I'm going to stop it. And we want this to basically play all over our entire game. So one option is to, in our main function, or in our whatever thing we have, we have audio stream player, audio stream player 2D and 3D. These we're not going to touch. This one is the one we're going to use. This plays audio non-positionally. It'll play in both headsets. That way we can hear it all over. So we can add this. We can drag and drop this guy. And there we go. We now have stream. If I say play, it'll now play. If I play my game, it should stop it. And it'll, it'll play in my game, hopefully. There we go. Now you can hear it when the game launches, and that's it. But that's how we have it globally. So if I change scenes, it would stop, and then I would have to re-import this. So a way to do this globally is what we can do is we can take this and say, save brand as scene. We'll save a uh, node, say global audio. We'll save this. We now have this guy. So we now have an audio stream player that has our town.mp3. And what we can do now is go into product settings, auto load, we go into here, and we can load our audio, our global audio. And what we want to make sure we do is put it on autoplay, or you can add a script to it and say, and put it on autoplay when it's ready. And what we can do now is we play, just to test this, we're going to delete it from our main scene, so we don't need this anymore. So we play, and it's not going to start, that's weird. Um, let's try one more time. Oh, I didn't add it. Sorry about that. Uh, make sure you set the path and then add it. So let's try that again. Let's close this. Add it. And we now have audio in our game. Let me reduce the sound of that. So now you can see the global audio is added to the root. So that means that it is now global and it will never be deleted, even if I change scenes from our main our actual game and it'll always stay. So you can always access it as well. So you can always say in here, what we can do is say, global audio dot, dot start stop i can't talk and this will automatically stop it so if i go it'll stop the global audio because i've auto uh stopped it in this this process and so now you can access it anywhere you want so if you have a cutscene, you can stop it you can play it whatever you want so that's a very good way to do that i hope you guys uh learn how to add background music to your game. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, definitely uh, subscribe down below, comment and like the video, um, share it. That would be very helpful too. I uh, have a Discord down below. I would love if you guys joined. Um, I'm trying to build the community with you guys. Um, I would love if you guys came in and shared your projects, um, maybe use some of my tutorials. I would love to see that. That would be awesome. Um, what else? Uh, I have a Patreon uh, you can definitely check out. Um, I also have a Twitch. Uh, I've been trying to stream more often, but it's really hard. Um, I'm going to try to at least once a week, so definitely check that out. Um, I think that is it, so I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.